Hello friends, welcome to Digi Bytes. I am Vavav Gupta, your Alteryx expert. And today we are going to learn about another interesting use case of Alteryx in which we will learn that how we can execute multiple Alteryx workflow in series. Like one workflow is done, then only the second will start and similarly third and so on. So why wait? Let's start. As an Alteryx expert, I have been asked many times that Weber, how we can do execution of workflows in Alteryx in series. So when I say in series, it means that I have let's say four workflows and I want to execute them one by one. But the condition is that second workflow should execute only when the first one executes successfully and similarly third one should execute only when second one and the first one has already executed successfully and so on so is it really possible in alteryx is it simple or complex many people say using analytical app in alteryx is the best way to do it but i have some other thoughts so let's understand with the simple use case that how we can achieve this in all tricks and yeah we will talk about analytical apps but not in this video uh, maybe in some other so let's understand so now you must be able to see your familiar screen of all tricks so you can see that there are three workflows workflow one which is named as workflow country workflow two which is named as workflow country short name and workflow three which is named as workflow country short name population so these three workflows are dependent on each other so when i say dependent uh, i will explain that what it exactly means so if you see here in the workflow one what we are doing is we are fetching a data which is uh, the country name and the currency from a text input and writing it to a file uh, in a xlsx format uh, with the name as country currency population so this will be a file which would be saved uh, in one of the locations and in the second workflow we are fetching this file and also adding an additional data via text input where we are adding uh, the short name so if you see we are generating again another file which is called as country currency population underscore mid as it's a mediator file where we have information of country its currency and the short name now in the third workflow what we are doing is we are fetching the workflow file that has been generated in the second workflow and also adding additional information of population in crores for each country so like if you see we are again joining that information but this time not on basis of country but on the basis of short name and generating a final output where we have a country name their respective currencies short name and as well as population in crores and the final file will be named as final output dot xlsx so what is the dependency here is that without proper execution or i would say successful execution of the first workflow second workflow cannot run because it needs the file that is being generated in the first output and similarly third workflow cannot generate or uh, i would say run because uh, it needs that the second workflow should run successfully because we are fetching the file from the second workflow output in this workflow and generating a final output so these three workflows are dependent on each other and should be run in series so workflow one should be run first then second then third so how we can achieve that in alteryx in simple easy steps let's understand that now what i am going to do is i will convert each of these three workflows into macros let's say how so i will go here to the workflow i will click here on macro and convert them into standard macro and just for making 
a kind of i would say uh it just meant i need one macro input so i will create one a macro input and uh, like i will just give it a kind of demo data so let's say test and i just write test and uh, i will save it and i will save it with the same name but with the yxmc extension and i will just remove this show field map because it is not needed here now i will go to second workflow and again same changes for it i will convert it to standard macro and will add a macro input added data test okay no show field map and save let's say we give its anchor as 2 its anchor as 1 and save it here also and in the third workflow also i will add this macro input so if i go here it's by default converted to macro because i have added a macro input tool so i will just give a test again here and it's done i will just give it as an anchor 3 and remove the show field map again and save it another thing that i would do with each of the workflows is that i will also add a macro output sorry not the workflows but with the macros i will add macro output so let's say i will go to work so i would say i will go to macro one and uh, i will drag and drop macro output so i will again name it as anchor one and save it similarly i will go to workflow two i will add a macro output and put it as anchor two and in third workflow as uh, it's a final workflow or i would say macro so i do not require to add uh, the macro output i will show you why so uh, now what i'm going to do is i create another workflow in which i will simply drag and drop text input tool and just for our help i will just add one junk data because i do not need it in execution it's just for creating the work around to execute the workflows or i would say macros in series so now i will add the first macro which is workflow country so i just added that then i would add the second macro workflow short name Okay, I just forgot to save the second macro. Then I would add the second macro, workflow country short name, and again it's connected. Now I will add the final and the third macro, which is workflow country short name population so if you can see here all my macros are stacked in series so only after its execution the second will be executed and so on third so let's try to run them and you can see the one workflow ran after another they had the dependency and it didn't create any ambiguity because the macro one ran first then macro 2 then macro 3 so this is one of the workaround ways in which we can execute workflows in series 
via converting them into macros and adding some macro input and output tools so in this video we learned that how multiple alterx workflow can be run in series this is a workflow which contains workaround but in next coming videos we will also learn that how with some of the standard tools considering their limitations we can execute workflows in series till then thank you everyone and do subscribe our channel and keep watching thank you